guys, this is Comic Uno, same new review for The Superior Spider-Man issue 16. Before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. First update is that I have four comics uh, exclusives for Comic Uno episode um, 10. Um, and that is a show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And that is Venom issue 39, this is for Dark Vendor Inc. Um, Nova issue 7. Green Lantern New Guardians issue 23. And Trinity of Sin, Pandora, issue 3. So if you want to go check out those, uh, go check out episode 10 of Comic Uno. Um, I do have an opinion on a couple of questions, so uh, please comment in the comments below about these questions. First question is that Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. is premiering Tuesdays at 9 in the end of September. Um, that is the same exact time that we do Dark Event during Live. Um, we can't change the date for Dark Event during Live. That is the time when we could all be together and do the live show. That's when we're all free. Um, so we can't change the date. Um, but we're worried that you guys won't watch the live show because it's during Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now for the first episode we are going to watch it live on Dark Event during and, um, or Dark Event during Live. And, uh, watch the first episode and have our reaction. Now do you want us to do that with every episode? Do you want us just to have a two hour comic book show like always? Tell us the comments below, but also there's a little twist to that. Um, if I don't um, watch the show during the live show, I probably can't do a review for the show. So obviously the first episode I will review it, but uh, for the rest, I don't know what I should do. I could maybe review it Wednesdays, but that might be too late for you guys. I don't know. Um, but tell me in the comments below, do you want us to watch it during the show, though I could review it right after the show? That's possible. So tell us in the comments below. But let's talk about Superior Spider-Man issue 16. Um, oh, also, another update is that I have my 3,000 subscribers coming soon, so I would love to have some ideas for a special video due for that. So definitely tell me in the comments below for both questions. But let's talk about Superior Spider-Man issue... 16. Um, really like this cover. I know a lot of people don't like Ramos's art, but I think it fits for this series. I think it fits for Spider-Man in general. Um, it was better than, not Stegman, but there's another artist on this series. I don't know his name, but I think it's better than that art, um, because that art looks a little bit more bulkier for Spider-Man. I don't think that really fits. I kind of like the abstract art for Ramos. Uh, but yeah, the cover's cool, especially having the Hobgoblin on there. It's a Hobgoblin story here, and I really liked the last issue. I really enjoyed it. I thought, finally, we have a really good core story. Um, even though I don't like Superior, I think I can overlook that, because we're having a really good story here, and a really good, um, I guess, adventure, you know? So, uh, I really like the cover. Let's see if I like the story. I was super excited to read this, though, so let's see. Um, so we get to see Hobgoblin is announced to be Phil Urich. And uh, everyone's freaking out about this. Some people don't believe in the Daily Bugle. Others do. Um, like Miss Winter, she's like, I kind of believe that you're Hobgoblin. It just makes sense. And, um, you know, Ben doesn't want her to believe he's uh, uh, the Hobgoblin. But then, you know, we dig a little deeper into the character. We know that he's was Green Goblin in the past. A good Green Goblin, but he was Green Goblin. And one of the loners, uh, which I actually enjoy that series a lot, um, is a short-lived series, but one of the loners, he was part of that team, and they're like, yeah, he was a little crazy, so I could believe he's Hobgoblin. So a lot of people are against him, and we find out he pretty much outs himself. He's like, yeah, I'm Hobgoblin, let me laugh weird. And Superior says, oh, well, now you're Hobgoblin, I gotta arrest you. So he arrests, you know, the Hobgoblin. But someone saves him. And the person who saves him to not go to jail is part of the Green Goblin crew. Um, so now, Hobgoblin's gonna be part of the Green Goblin crew, which seems like it's Norman Osborn. We don't know yet, but, um, he is gonna be one of, he's still a goblin, but he's not the Hobgoblin anymore. He's under, I guess, oath with, um, the original Green Goblin? I don't know. We don't know if it's Norman or not, so can't say it's the original Green Goblin yet. Um, but I really enjoy this issue. You know, I'm not a humongous Superior fan, but it reminded me a lot of Dan Slott's older, uh, older stories. I really enjoyed his Spider Island. I really loved his stories in 2012 before Superior. I still think he's a great storyteller, and, um, you know, even though I don't like Superior, he's still telling some really good stories. Um, and I think that's proven with this story arc. I think it, it was D written well, it was, um, it was produced well, and, uh, you know, it was interesting. Every step of the way, you're like, oh, you know, is he gonna reveal he's hobgoblin? You know, Superior could do this, really, like, Superior would be the only one that could do this, but is this a good thing? You know, will this bite him on the ass? <laughs> and, you know, maybe Peter, Peter's re identity will be revealed one day. And then it's not also making the public question, um, is it good that superheroes have secret identities? And that's going all the way back to Civil War, and they even mention that in this issue. So I'm, I like that they referenced that. 
um, you know, it was a fun issue. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, and also, supporting characters are not stupid here. Carly's actually investigating on Superior Spider-Man. Finally. Maybe it's not with Mary Jane, which I, I would have liked to see her more on the team helping Carly. But it's with, um, I don't know her name. Um, her. I can't think of her name. She's part of the police uh, force. I can't think of her name right now. Um, but yeah, she's teaming up with Carly, and, uh, I thought that was cool, you know? So, um, you know, Carly's finally doing something about it, and hopefully she will find out, even though she was already told that Dr. Octopus is Spider-Man. Uh, she's still trying to figure that all out and see exactly who Spider-Man is. Uh, so she's acting a little less stupid, she's at least investigating in all of it, so I was happy to see that. Uh, really enjoyed this issue being, it was actually really close to really close to be my pick of the week. Uh, I did pick something else to be my pick of the week, but it really was debatable. I actually changed it, like, last minute that Superior is supposed to be my pick of the week, but I changed it last minute um, to pick something else. But I really like this issue. I do give this a 4.5, 4.5. I think you should really read this issue. Um, even though I'm not a big fan of Superior, I'm really liking this out of core, and I want to see what happens with the Green Goblin story, because that's just been developing for issues now. And hopefully that explodes um, in some story arc soon. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. This is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and guys, don't forget to like me on Facebook, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.